G'day viewers, this is Troy from Troy's Gelarts channel. Yeah, Richard commented on my previous video on the issue of trying to trying to blank the flyback lines. Um, yeah, he told me that that, uh, that there was a bit of a mistake in uh, his schematic, which which uh, he put 4.7k resistor in in the uh, at the uh, grid. Well, I was actually meant to put something like a 470 kilo ohm resistor, so I've done that. Sadly, it hasn't exactly fixed the uh, blanking issue. I'm still still getting the flyback lines. I've got some terrible ringing happening happening there too. Well, anyway, I in a, another post, uh, he actually actually told me to. Get the blanking from the uh, sync pulse generator circuit instead of the time based circuit because it reckons it might be actually outputting a garbage pulse. So, yeah, I'm gonna now, I'm gonna next uh, look for the uh, blanking pulse out of the sync generator and feed that to the grid. Also, another thing too, uh, he was mentioning that the pulse, that the uh, pulse had a bit of a, the pulse did not exactly look like a clean pulse. There was a bit of noise, so he suggested I put a bypass capacitor at the top of the, at at the top of the collector resistor. So that's another thing he suggested I do. Now, uh, in regards of the uh, ringing, I was actually watching his latest video on his uh, on his the Chief project, and he actually places a uh, capacitor and resistor across the vertical output of the uh, of the vertical scan circuit, and and that actually dampens the ringing in the picture. Yeah, this is very atrocious ringing in the picture. I'm going to rip out the blanking output and in the previous video you actually found that well anyway uh, when I had the lower resistance I, I was actually getting I was getting a decent picture with the flyback but less, but a bit less pronounced ringing. I'll plug the blanking back in. So yeah, the shading's terrible. Yeah, I've got shading issues to this iconoscope. I'll, I'll eventually have to incorporate shading correction as well. I mean, shading is generally an issue with iconoscope tubes. It's like when I turn up the beam current, the shading is just, you get very dark shading at the top left corner. Anyway, that's pretty much the latest update on Project Iconoscope. I'm going to, I'm going to, yeah, as said, put the, blanking at the put the blanking to the tube from the sync pulse generators uh, blanking output and see how that goes alrighty that's pretty much about it this is Troy from Troy's Digital Arts channel signing out